Okay, so this is number three hub that I have completed. I think it's my best one yet. There's only one small thing here where I cheaped out a little bit and I think I kind of did myself short by the eighth of an inch or so of that. Other than that though, it looks great. It's probably the one with the most screws. The other ones are seeming a little bit flimsy. They may need some retouching now, come to think of it. Some people watching this are probably also thinking, dude, get you a work table that's not your saw blade on it. Uh, anyway, I'm being very ginger around it if I can. I had one problem with the screw that came through that I didn't notice uh, until later, but uh, so that caused the hub to come apart at first. That's why I started overdoing it with the screws on this one. Uh, just feeling it though and hefting it like this thing is solid. Oh yeah. And uh, really proud with how everything turned out. Little gap there, I think that's another cheap out. After that, I had a couple of problems with them and I said, okay, you know what? Two by fours aren't that expensive, let's just do it up. And if I gotta order more, I gotta order more. So overall, quite happy with the joints. That looks really nice right there. Should blend nicely onto a hex. There is my nice center hub, looking pretty cute. Might go into a dome later, I don't know. And yeah, so there's all the other joints. Quite, quite happy with it. The other two, eh, I can live with them. I'll probably put a few more screws in them. This one particularly, I think, seemed a little flimsier. So I might have to do something with that. But uh, for right now, I'm going to start putting my tarp over all the... Uh, all of my lumber so that it doesn't uh, get soaked and blow away on me in the big uh, weather to come. Anyhow, that's uh, the progress on day two of the dome build, Ted versus the geodesics. So, starting to get the hang of things, learned a few more lessons about not cheaping out, using more screws, using them at angles to the surface of the wood so that they go in and don't tend to come out. Um, what else? I wonder what a really proper handsaw cuts like because these job mate ones seem to leave a little bit to de be desired. Uh, they do the job all right, but uh, I just feel they kind of take a while to bite in and the wood's wet too, so maybe it's that. Uh, yeah, trying to think of any other lessons for myself or anyone else that might want to try this one day. Be patient with yourself, give yourself some chances. It's probably gonna take a few false starts, um, unless you've got a lot more recent experience in woodwork than what I have. But for a pretty much a newbie, we'll say, um, I'm pleased with how it's looking so far. The real test will be when I get the hexes built up and we start putting them around. But uh, for now, we'll sign off with that.